Hello, my name is Richard Smith. I'm basically a scientist, musician, and I've been making trumpets for the last 40 years using some of the basic scientific ideas that I have. And I've been making trumpets, especially in the last few years, for Her Majesty. All the fanfare trumpets you hear being played, or she hears being played, will have been made by us in our little workshop here in Yorkshire. Because of my background as a scientist, I've been interested in doing demonstrations that will bust some of the myths that have grown up around playing instruments and even making instruments. And one of the big ones is get putting air into your instrument to make the sound come out. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate another way of showing that you don't need to put air into the instrument from your lungs, lips, and into the resonance of the air column. So I'm just going to play a regular note on this flugel horn. Now I'm going to try and do this in reverse by sucking through the instrument in that direction, through to the mouthpiece and into my lungs. Now you have to be careful when you do this at home because the problem is you might inhale particles from inside your instrument and especially the fumes from the oil that you might use on your instrument's valves. Evolved from that by changing a mouthpiece. This is a regular mouthpiece for a tenor trombone, like this instrument. It's a regular student instrument. There's no magic here either about it, just a regular instrument. <laughs> The lips are vibrating, causing the air column inside to resonate at the right frequency of my lips. What I have done to show that you don't need air to go into the instrument is made a special mouthpiece. This is the regular mouthpiece, which has a cup, a restriction, a small part, and then a back bore here, which goes into the instrument. Now I have copied that into another mouthpiece, exactly the same, except I have bored the back of it through to the bore of the instrument at half an inch. The top part has got a hole in the side there and underneath that I've put a diaphragm to separate the two parts. So if I try and blow into this mouthpiece, the air will be redirected this way. If I put my finger over the end, there's no air going into the instrument because of the drum or the diaphragm across that part of the mouthpiece. But if I put my finger on the end, I can tongue effectively on the outside of the instrument and stop the airflow. So when you're playing an instrument normally, you're using your tongue to close the air off to stop the note. Now we're going to do this using a special valve, which I can switch on and off automatically. There are various ways we could do this to demonstrate. This is just really for fun to demonstrate the, what we're trying to do here. And this air is now going to be switched off by an electric drill which is connected to a valve which will switch that air on and off in that tube exactly as I just did with my finger. You could be faster than your colleagues in the band or orchestra 
just by having an electric drill fitted on your instrument. Right, in conclusion, air has not gone into the instrument because the diaphragm is across it, like a drum, but the vibrating part of the air is being transmitted through and into the air column, creating the resonance or an absolutely normal note. The air from your lungs, which is used only to make the lips vibrate, comes through the side here, through the tube, and can be switched on and off with an artificial tongue, which is really what the electric drill and the valve are doing there. Um, some other advantages, if you employed one of these yourself, when you're playing your trombone or your trumpet, um, you don't get any moisture in the instrument because it will all come out the side here. Um, you don't need a spit valve, you don't need to clean the instrument, so fantastic amount of advantages in doing that. The basic principle is that once the lips are vibrating, the air has served its purpose and although it goes through the instrument, it no longer affects the note production.